Hi, Chris. Hello there. How are you? And welcome to Gigi and the 561. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. It is a pleasure. And I love the title of, of your show. Now I've got to ask you, how did you get that title? I love it. Oh, thank you. Um, well, Gigi, I have many nicknames, some of which I won't even say on air. But uh, Gigi is the one I treasure the most because our eight-year-old granddaughter, we have one son and one granddaughter, and that's what she calls me. And so it's really special to me. 561, that's our area code here in the Palm Beach. <laughs> I love it. That's great. That is great. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you're so gracious to be here today, and I want our listeners to know the person, the wonderful person I'm talking to. A few years ago, I had the fortune, good fortune, to have an interview with this lovely lady. She was very gracious to me in the interview, and it has been on our website ever since then, com. Chris Costello is a woman wearing many hats, and let me just put it right out there. She is the daughter of the iconic, the famed entertainer Lou Costello of Abbott and Costello fame. But she has done so much in this time uh, of all these years of, of being here. And, and Chris, you wear so many hats. You're an award-winning podcaster. Um, I have to tell you, I'm a little bit jealous of the award-winning part, but I think ah. it's great, the the podcast that you do, because your dad not only was just absolutely iconic uh, figure in the world of entertainment, but he was a great humanitarian, and that's what really jumped out at me about your particular podcasting. You want to, you, you kind of, you caught that gene and you're pushing that forward and you're carrying that on by doing these very compelling podcasts. So kudos. Thank you. Well, you know, basically I I can't take all the credit because, you know, you're fully as good as the people behind you. Right. And and I've got a great producer, Pamela Wise, and also a phenomenal sound engineer up in San Francisco, June Miller with JMC Sound. But I think what I was trying to do was to um, give a voice you know, to those that um, needed to have their story told. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's. Uh, I think it's important. You know, we all have a story regardless, yes. you know, of how successful we are. We all have a story. And if you just kind of, I always say, unravel the layers, you know, you'll you'll find some amazing people, yep. you yeah. know, who have all these hidden talents and gems. And so that was really the purpose behind the podcast. Uh, and, uh, you know, we incorporate a lot of the sound bites, so it's almost like a, Pod you, pod you documentary, whatever you would call it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's fun. You know, it, it's uh, yeah. You're right. I wear many hats. I, I call myself the multi hyphenate at times. <laughs> but I think you know, if I if I weren't doing all of this, I think I would be probably very, very, very bored because mm-hmm. um, I have to keep active. You're right. So, well, I'm let's sure tell everyone. The same way, Pam. I can I am. your energy. I am. I truly am, Chris. And boy, especially this last year. Woo. Let's tell everyone, though, the name of your podcast, because I don't believe I said it, and I meant to. Oh, tell it's uh, on cue, C-U-E, Chris Costello. And we're on all the leading major, you know, podcast apps. Now, if anybody is interested or if they can't find it, which they should be able to, let me give you an email address that they can okay. email us, which okay. is uh, Chris, C-H-R-I-S at chrisonq.com. And, uh, but you, you, you should be able to find it on any and all of the leading platforms. Yeah, it, it's easy to find everyone. It really is. So, and, but, and go there and listen because you're, you really draw people out in such a great way. I, I really oh, do I, I greatly admire your, your podcasting that, that you're doing. But you're also a, a writer, and so we'll, we'll circle back and, and really d- dig down. But uh, you are about to do, are you not uh, a new book, or tell us about your writing. No, I'm not doing a new book, no. no. Okay. What happened was that when COVID hit last year, uh, of course, everybody's on lockdown. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I kept thinking to myself, okay, my book was on first and my dad came out in 1981, 82, I believe, uh, St. Martin's Press, uh, lasted 22 years in print, not a bad review, thank God, knock on wood. Uh, it was a story I felt that needed to be told. 
And so I was thinking, I thought, hmm, you know, maybe I should start now looking into putting it into an audio book because God knows we all have the time. Mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> so my wonderful producer, Pam White, you know, was really an instrumental force behind this. And uh, she kicked it all into to gear and, and threw the throttles forward. And, and we created a studio called Studio C right here. And um, uh, to do all of the, uh, uh, I have a humongous walk-in um, utility area, which mm-hmm. could almost be made into a little sound studio, and that's where Studio C was born. And Love that's it. where the audio book was, was done, and I incorporated a bonus chapter. So people have been wanting, you know, wanting to know well, what happened following your mother's death after my mm-hmm. dad in 1959, yeah. and it kind of gives them a walkthrough as, as to what happened to everybody. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm pretty proud. I'm mighty proud of it. You so should be. They, they can purchase, you know, off of Amazon, Audible. Um, you know, again, any of the leading audiobook apps, you know, they're going to find the book. Now tell us, tell everyone the name again. Okay. It's Lose On First. Very easy. It's very easy, especially if you are a Bud Abbott Luke Costello fan, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect title. So now are oh, all – now I did check check Amazon. But are, is everything available still in print and, and audio? Well, the book went out of print um, back in the early 2000s, I think, 2000 or something. And uh, then, then um, we have the uh, e-book – which was put out by uh, Crossroads Press, and they can find the ebook uh, through Amazon, uh, any of the leading, you know, online platforms. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then now it's the audio book, and, and soon we'll be putting out just a very limited uh, collector edition of the um, audio book and CD format, uh, but we're only going to make it very limited edition. Okay. And they can get that through Amazon as well? No. That okay. will not be furnished through Amazon. This is something that I'm doing. I'm funding it on my own. Oh, okay. um, and it's, we just finished all the graphics. It's it's beautiful. Uh, and uh, But, again, we're only making so many uh, copies of it. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll we'll sell out on those. So, But people oh. have been asking about it. So I thought, okay. Well, your you, the the Bud Abbott Lou Costello memorabilia is huge, and are you responsible for managing all that, Chris? Do you have help with that? How in the world do you no. do everything? No, first of all, um, the Abbotts have their estate. Uh, the Lou Costello estate is with my sister and my sister Carol's kids. Okay. Uh, and, you know, it's uh, you know we the only thing that that the Costellos own outright would be the television show series and Hey Abbott. Uh, that was dad's company. That was dad's project. That was his baby, you know, back in the early 50s. Right. So the estate t- still controls that. And uh, But we all, you know, do our part, you know, uh, you know, to, to keep the legacy going. And yeah. I think I just fell into it naturally because um, of doing the book, doing a lot of the research. Yeah. Uh, I, I really kind of dove in with Bud Jr., you know, back in the 80s with the release of uh, uh, Abbott and Costello Live, which was put out by Warner Home Video, and we basically created a revival. And from there, it just snowballed. And Bud was a gem, just a oh, gem nice. to work with. So, that was great. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny about the, the movies? Now, we have so much to talk about with you, but I just want to say just this one thing. You never know where they're going to pop up. Just the other night, after you, we had scheduled our, our this podcast together, um, yeah, it's late at night, and like you said, we have plenty of time on our hands. And I was watching a movie from the eighties with it's uh, into the into the night um, with um, Mich- uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and um, uh, Jeff Goldblum. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just a fun movie. It's just a, you know, but. There in one of the scenes was in the background on the television screen. You see Bud Abbott, Luke Costello movie. It's like you just never know. Oh, <laughs> you know that's funny. Yeah, it was. It was really that very is cool. Funny. Yeah, that's that funny. I know a lot of times they'll they'll pop in who's on first, 
Um, and a couple of uh, uh, series, you know, have put in the background either a poster or them, you know, on television. So it's always good to see, and it's so nice that the producers or the powers to be would think enough of them to yeah. incorporate them. You know, well, so we're always very thankful about that. Yeah, that was that was really, I thought, very fun. Now, what? tell me, if you will, tell my listeners, you're so involved in travel in the world of travel, and this year has killed us all in that oh. regard. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it went on life support, that's for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I want to believe that, Chris. I want to believe oh, it's coming back. <laughs> it, it is. I think it's, it's a slow crawl. You know, I think there's so so many factors involved, and then you've got, you know, the, the, the world of cruising, which you love, and, I, and that's what I specialize in in, yeah. in the travel industry. Um, yeah. I love cruising myself. But I have to say, you know, the cruise the, the cruise market, they have done and made phenomenal strides, you know, to protect their crew, to protect yeah. uh, their guests. Um, they have just done everything, you know, that they were told to do. And I feel it's going to be very safe to travel. Uh, I know that there are clients of mine that have already started booking for end of this year, early in 2022. I'll oh. tell you the market that really picked up was the um, riverboat market here in uh, the U.S. Really? Yes, yes. American Steamboat oh. Company, American Cruise Lines, they're all doing phenomenal business. Wow. Uh, and it, it's kind of a nice experience. Some people do not want to travel farther than, you know, the U.S. right now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and I can understand why. You know, mm-hmm. people want to get the vaccine first, this and that. Yeah. But I will say one thing for anybody – who is is um, putting any of their travel into effect now, is to make sure you contact cruise lines and make sure you understand whether there is supposed to be a vaccine mandate, you know, to board the oh, ship. Yeah. Uh, you know, because all the cruise lines are different. Uh, they're all complying with CDC. Uh, so it's just, it's just good if you don't work with a travel agent, you know, to do that. Yeah. You, you have to know going in. You really you do. You have to do your homework. You have to be informed. You but do. I'm, I'm curious, though, what uh, on the river cruises, if you don't mind talking about that for a second, no. where would you, uh, what, like, where would you go, where do they start from? Where's the, the uh, starting well, point? It, it depends. It, it, first of all, I mean, like with American uh, Queen Steamboat Company, and I do a lot of bookings with them. I've traveled on them. I've done lectures on them back in, in the 90s. Is uh, it depends on where you want to go. If you want the Pacific Northwest and retrace Lewis and Clark, you know, my God, they've got a, a spectacular uh, trip out of there, the sailing. Uh, you have the Lower Mississippi, the Upper Mississippi, Ohio, Cumberland. It depends on what you're looking for. So uh, some people want to do the Civil War route, uh, you know. So so that's a section of the Mississippi, but it just really depends. Seriously. Okay. Well, that is really surprising because I had no idea about that. that oh, they're wonderful. I, I tell you, there's nothing in the world like being on an actual, um, like, riverboat. And, of course, now they're very upgraded and very modernized. But you know right. this paddle wheel feel, you know, they, it's Mark Twain time. It's, it's, that uh, is you know, so cool. Really, it, it's great. It's, I, I always encourage people to do it just once. When yeah. I was lecturing, I remember the first cruise that I did on them, uh, I was fascinated at night. I would sit out there at night, and I would watch in the pilot house where they would spot the shore with this, like, high beam light. And you would just see this light tapping the shore on both sides. And they they would do, somebody explained it to me as that they were doing it to make sure uh, that they were not getting too close to, you know, oh, the shore light. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's an interesting, fascinating journey, and, They've got some beautiful new ships coming out. Um, it's the Countess and the Duchess with American Queen Steamboat Company. And again, there's there's American Cruise Lines, which is also very good. And they they also travel the rivers, but they can also cut into the you know the coastal areas. Mm-hmm. Um, so it just depends what somebody is looking for. Yeah. Well, it's good to know something positive is is happening, in, in even in you know. Oh, being sure. able to move around at all, because I think you're right about international travel. It's, it's I think it's going to be tough. For well, I'll tell you what's really beautiful. You want to see something spectacular. You yeah. book a uh, riverboat cruise during Christmas time in yeah. 
charms of the south where you visit the antebellums and they oh. all have the homes oh. decorated for christmas oh my god oh. And, and you walk in and you smell that cinnamon you know and that that warm christmasy you know smell uh it's oh. something really spectacular that sounds wonderful and you know if we could do something like that this year after the, this time that we've had that'd be so great Oh, that yeah, would be absolutely. absolutely wonderful. Uh, I want to circle back to your uh-huh. podcast. Your, let me say again, out of pure jealousy, your award winning. <laughs> <laughs> you won the Communicator Award uh, for a very specific podcast that you did. You bring on really compelling people, and the one that was the winner, I guess, as you, you know, uh, yeah. you were recognized for, was for um, Francis Gary Powers. Uh, yes. And that, uh, how do you manage to find these really compelling people that are willing to talk about their experiences and so forth? And and is there someone that you're really dying to to have oh, on your I, podcast yeah. that you that I, you just... I can answer that absolutely. Well, first of all, um, I knew Gary Powers when he was a teenager. I knew oh, okay. his mom okay. was a dear friend of mine. And Gary and I had reacquainted ourselves after all this time. He had moved out of L.A. He went to school back in Virginia. And he's such a hard worker. He started the Cold War Museum. He was really, really, um, you know, protecting the legacy of his dad. He wrote, he wrote a couple of books. You know, he's, he's a wonderful human being, wonderful. And he's a great lecturer. And he's somebody you would love to have on your show, seriously. He's great. Oh. And, um, and so I thought, okay, that's going to be my first podcast because that was you your know, first one. Gary, that was the first one that's with Gary. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. And then what we did is we decided, well, wait a minute. I had this brainstorm, you know, that uh, with Khrushchev, you know, of yeah. the Cold War, Khrushchev, Francis right. Gary Powers, you, you two being downed over Russia. And I thought, I believe Sergei Khrushchev, the son, lives in Rhode Island. He does. We got him through Gary. So we had not only Gary, we did a second show. We had Sergei Khrushchev. And I believe it was Sergei's last interview before he passed away. I was going to say, he he passed away. Uh, yeah. 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 Wow, Chris, that is impressive. That but then we've <laughs> also we've also done, you know, like, like Lieutenant Colonel Polidor, who was the first female to uh, pilot the B-2 stealth bomber and fly over the Rose Parade Love last year. Love that. Uh, I mean, a, a woman who's really we talk about crashing through the ceiling. Um, and we had Elizabeth Beisel, Olympian, uh, who was a wonderful interview. And we just did Kate Smith. We we interviewed her wonderful niece, Susie Andron, and her husband, Bob. And, uh, you know, I thought, let's, you know, we need a little patriotic stuff yeah. here, storylines. Yeah. You know, and I'm very proud of that segment. And uh, that's the latest one. Uh, and who would I love to interview? Well, here's here's one for you. The other night I was watching uh, the movie that was released last year, but I saw it on Netflix called I Am Woman on Helen Reddy. Now, I was a big Helen Reddy fan. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I met her in Japan when I was uh, on a singing tour there back in the 70s. Well, I just, I loved her music. I loved her message. And I think I appreciate the message now more than mm-hmm. I did back then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I thought, wow, would I love to interview her son or her daughter and do a terrific podcast that really can expose her even more, you know, to a younger generation. I think that's fantastic because you know, yeah. me and I met her you know, back in his rock music reviewer mm-hmm. days. And I found her, and I recently told some people this, she was so unassuming. She uh-huh. was not like... Uh, she didn't walk in the room mm-hmm. and, and owned the room necessarily. Mm-hmm. She just mm-hmm. was there with her presence. And yeah. I, I think that would be a great podcast, Chris. Oh, my God. Well, if, if your husband can help me locate. <laughs> you know what? As soon as we're done with this podcast, I'm grabbing him. We're going to see what we can do for you, Chris. Oh, you're time. great. And I'll give you such a special mention, you know, on the show for this. You don't I even have it. to. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know another thing because you're 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 an you're an avid cruiser and I am too. Right. I'll tell you the one that I I am so determined to get at some point is that we've got female, um um yes captains on yes. cruise ships. One that gets a lot of notoriety and I can uh um what's her name um 
Oh, not McCall. I can't think of her name. I right can't now. help you. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm At any rate, she's with McHugh, Captain McHugh on Celebrity. Oh, and I okay. Think she was on Celebrity Eclipse. At any rate, uh, uh, she's it looks like a model, you know. And and you see her there, you know, piling. She's she's captain of this cruise ship. And uh, I I thought, oh, that's somebody I, I'd love to get on because I think, you know, again, the women are starting to crash through that ceiling. Yeah. And I, th- I think it's so important to give them the recognition. I could not agree more. And, and, and one thing that I loved, one of your podcasts I was listening to, you were talking about staying healthy and, you know, keeping your body moving so that it will keep moving. And, oh. and, and you know, kind of the age factor there of just because you are a woman of a certain age or really anyone of a certain age but just happen to be a woman uh you know go for it uh you know if you if you if you think you could be the ninja (laughs) the ninja there you go (laughs) you know go for it and and i really i love that so much well Uh, i i love and i i I feel it with you too with with your podcast uh, shows is that it's nice to be able to empower you know, people, you know, yes. it's, it's, we all have that. And, and yes. I always said, you know, it's like, you know, there are so many people, you know, who may never achieve a tremendous amount of success or earn a tremendous amount of money, but you know what? They've got something inside of them, a hidden story, a gem, something that needs to be told that makes them, yes. you know, a shining yes. star. You know, I, and I, I, those are the people that, that I love to get on the show. You know? Totally agree. And, and that's what I've said, too, in some of my podcasts. You know, everyone, you, what you just said, what you just said, the person that you may stand, be standing next to back when you exactly. could stand closer than six feet, if you chat with them, they will have them. One, one day exactly. I was picking my, my son up from school, just chatting with his grandmother. She was a grandmother of a child. And lo and behold, she was at Pearl Harbor the day. Oh, my um, God. Yeah. And so it, it, she was the most mouthy, oh little quiet grandmother. Oh but she God. had this big story to tell. So you never know. Well, and You know, it's true. When I was flying for United Airlines years ago, when they were called Sue's and not flight attendants, I remember... <laughs> And you were hot, hot. No, I've seen no, you. No. <laughs> I've seen you. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you something. What was funny is, is that there was this little, little old lady sitting in first class, or, or coach, wherever. And I remember after the meal service, I, I sat down and and we were talking. Well, as it turned out, she remembered, but she was a little girl, the 1906 earthquake in San Francisco, and she wow. started telling me stories about it i mean one story after another oh, i wow. mean i was I, I sat there and i was just like whoa yeah oh <laughs> you know? man so you know you Incredible. look back and, and you don't appreciate all that when you're really young you don't but I guess when you get some some miles on you you, you can look back and say you boy yeah. you know if only i knew then and appreciated then what i can appreciate now boy it, uh, chris isn't that the truth when we if we could just go back and take the time to sit down with our families more and go tell me everything so exactly. but we exactly. don't you know we don't so uh but everything that you're doing you're just the most fun when i have to tell my listeners when you were so sweet to do the interview a few years ago and we found that little clip of you <laughs> and, <laughs> am i embarrassing you will you tell no, what i you, think uh, i am honored <laughs> I mean, who would have ever thought that song <laughs> would have gotten picked up by some Japanese artist? <laughs> and the next thing I know, it's it's on uh, you know uh, YouTube, and I'm yeah. going get out of here. <laughs> I mean, I mean that song I wrote when I was supposed to be studying for finals at Marymount, and I was writing it in my girlfriend's bathroom. You know, I um, love that story so <laughs> much. And tell them, tell the tell the name of the group because it's super cool. Oh, it was a real sixties title. It was we were called the Boutiques. I love it. And we faked our way into a recording contract with uh, Columbia Records by making them think we were all from England. So they had the first girls group from England. What they had were the first girls group from the San Fernando Valley in California, but they didn't know it. So um, we did record. That was our first song that we recorded on Date Label, and uh, then they found out, of course, where we were all from. <laughs> and that, that, I mean, I, that you can't make that stuff up. I mean, that stuff. That, that, oh, it really happened. Stuff. 
<laughs> that really, really, really happened. <laughs> oh, oh, that was it. Was just so oh. much fun. It, it really, was, really it was just hard trying to keep the British accent when, you know, we. Oh my God, it was just so your brain would be cracking. Oh See, God. you were destined to be a podcaster years later because you started oh. with the boutiques writing, writing your music, <laughs> and in in writing you are a traveler. You are a, a wonderful travel agent. You are oh, thank you. a podcaster. You you oh. you just juggle so many things, and you were so so gracious to take oh, time so today. Sweet. And I know I drew, I drove you crazy sending you emails about, but I just uh, wanted to to make sure that. It all came together because I respect you and what you do so oh, much, Chris. Man, you're so sweet. I it's mean just, it. You are so, so sweet. And, I mean, I, I just um, I appreciate your reaching out to me. I love doing the show. I think you are excellent. You are wonderful. Go, you need to submit yourself in your shows, you know. Seriously. Because I, I, you know, thank you for saying that because I, I, I appreciate that, Chris. I really do. That no, means mean a lot it. to I me. I mean it. I mean it. You know, you go out there, you submit yourself, and then I'll have you on the show and we'll promote your, um, your, your award, okay? Okay. That's the deal. <laughs> what I have it. I missed that the listeners need to know about you or what oh, you're doing Lord. or... <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord! Well, at um, least tell everyone where how to reach you once again. Refresh okay, everybody. Well, yeah. Well, here's what they can do if they okay. if they would like to get in touch with me regarding on cue, you can reach me at Chris C H R I S as in Sam, Chris at on uh, wait a minute it's Chris at Chris on cue dot com. Okay. okay. And and uh, I will get back with them. Uh, and if they, um, I'm just trying to think a bit for Abbott and Costello, we put out an amazing uh, newsletter every month. Uh, we have a wonderful uh, fan uh, base on Facebook, and they can uh, contact uh, any of us, you know, okay. at uh, AC Collectible at AOL.com. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here, Chris. I mean it. I cannot. You're just, you're so fun. I look so forward to this <laughs> because you're just fun. And oh, thank you. Uh, it's, it's, I, I will be buying your uh, audio book because I run around and try to get exercise and have my headphones on all the time. So I'm definitely going <laughs> to well, do that. Well, you let me know. You let me know how you like it. Oh, I will. I will definitely do so. And. Beautiful. Thank you, and to my listeners, I want you to know this podcast, as always, will be uh, on our website, northpalmbeachlife.com. Always, you can always find them there. They're on Spotify, iTunes, Pandora, and many other platforms, but they are always at northpalmbeachlife.com, where you will also find the story I did a few years ago about this wonderful woman um, gives you a little bit more information about her there and also her picture and Gary will be making a beautiful page just for this podcast for Chris with her photos Chris doesn't know that yeah I didn't tell her that <laughs> uh, and you'll be able to see this this wonderful woman on that page be sure to listen, to comment, contact her, go listen to her on cue, but be sure to stay tuned. Okay.